Have you ever been working on a project and you import a vocal chain into that project and you realize, wow, this does not sound nearly as good as my other song? That happened to me the other day. I was working on one of the, the tracks in a, a album my wife and I are making, and the, the vocal chain just sounded really good. It fit well. It sounded solid. Um, we're doing a rap album, and... It, it just fit the song really well. So I wanted to incorporate that into this current track. Um, and when I imported it, so let me just show you here. You can import vocal chains. You can also save them. So here's um, save channel strip setting. Um, and then when you go to load it, you just come down here and you can load it. And there will be, de depending on the folders, it's actually really organized. You can come and just get whatever you want. Um, so I imported it and it just fell flat. And I'll play you a little bit of that uh, here. Oops. He was made alive. Then the man of faith came and he heard the voice and the like. And when you import a channel strip, you know, the settings are going to be the same as the other song. So, you know, all these settings were the same. But I realized that the depending on you know the day that i recorded these or you know i might have had different levels or the mics might have been hotter or less hot uh depending on the input level um and when you put a vocal chain in it's expecting a certain level coming in if you are wanting it to sound like the other channel uh on a previous out song or whatever uh so when i imported this it it just it wasn't sounding good. And this, this track is routed into this one. Um, so this is really where all the effects are. But what I realized was that because the, the, the gain might've been different on these vocal tracks, you can increase the gain prior to the whole channel strip. Like, so you just move these up and then add a gain, um, plug in here. And so, Listen to what happens when you add that game plugin. So I'm gonna just gonna set it at Unity. Um, all right, so he was made alive. Then the man of faith came and he heard the voice and oh, like great. his fathers before him. He made the right choice, chose to walk in the ways of the one most high. So you can tell that it's not actually increasing in volume that much overall. Like I'm increasing a lot of dB here. And the overall level isn't being impacted a crazy amount. And the reason is, this is the key, is that these effects are, they're just reacting on whatever's coming into them. So on the other track, on in the other song, the levels were different. The audio here in these tracks might have been less, like I said. And so when you have a gain here, you can, a gain plugin, you can increase the, the volume smashing into these. Um, and so you can really, you know, crank it. He was made alive. Then the man of faith came and he so heard. You can hear how, I mean, it's just completely compressed and it starts to clip and stuff like that. Uh, so you, you want to be careful, but, um, what you can do is then at the end you add another game plugin so you you balance these two to get the level that you want so you 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 send you, you increase the audio here the volume into these and then you send it out of here at the right volume mixed and balanced with the rest of the mix so let's just play around with this a little bit so here's the other gain all right so he was made alive. Then the man of faith came and he heard the voice and unlike his fathers before him, he made the right choice, chose to walk in the ways of the one most high, almost sacrificed his son, but before he brought down that night, the angel of the Lord called to him and said, stay your hand, Abraham, Abraham. All right. So, you know, you might want to mess around with it more and perhaps for this particular song, you want to change the other plugins. But the idea is if you set a gain plug in here and a gain plug in here, you can d decide how much these are going to impact the volume coming in from the other channels and then balance the overall channel output here with this final gain. So if you really want to compress it, you change this and then balance the output here. If you want to turn down the compression, turn the first gain down and then increase the second gain plugin 
All right, so hopefully that's helpful. This really just helped me um, start to balance the the tracks, like using vocal chains that I decided, you know, it worked really well in one song. I want to use it in other songs, um, but when the volume of your audio tracks might be different or, you know, the projects are all just different in general. When you add these two gain kind of balance plugins, that is the key to getting that original sound from your first song into your second song or whatever project you're working on. So hopefully that helped. Don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, share, whatever, uh, seems best. All right.